So, my name is Imab Manjakiza. I work for CD Great Legs, a free market organization who promotes individual liberty, property rights, and limit government in Burundi, Rwanda, and Congo. I'm here uh, for, uh, uh, through an uh, invitation from Free Market Foundation for, to participate in this conference. When I speak about uh, proper right about the history of land in my country, Burundi. Burundi get independence in 1916 from Belgium. Uh, the, the system from Belgium have give opportunity for every people to have land. But after independence, the government, Burundi government, changed the policy about land in Burundi. Today, government have made a commission. This commission, this community, have the power from government to give uh, a land, uh, to decide the land for this uh, kind of people and uh, other land uh, supposed to be for government. But the history about Burundi showed that the land is for people, is for uh, family, if a group of people who have made it, who have, uh, have uh, uh, looked this land uh, before uh, many years ago, before government Burundi. So in my presentation, I have uh, give, I have show uh, the situation we have in Burundi today about the, the bad situation, the bad policy you have uh, from government about proper, special about land in Burundi. Today, the, the commission have take every land and say this land is for government. And government uh, have power to decide how can use this land. The history of Burundi show that two or three generations Burundi population have proper, have uh, uh, the power in this land before the day, before uh, the situation we have today. So this situation made Burundi uh, ranked Burundi one 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 the country who is in poverty in the world because we haven't uh, the the right or the proper right about special in land. Burundi today. This situation made, uh, make, uh, made Burundi a country where we, have, uh, we haven't security because the situation uh, don't give opportunity for many people who want to invest in Burundi. If you have an investment in Burundi, it's because you, have, uh, you haven't a security about proper rights, especially in land. So our organization has uh, worked hard to try to change this situation, to try to influence new reform, to, to influence new police public, uh, so that we can have a new look about proper rights in Burundi, especially in land. So that is my view about uh, proper rights, about the benefit to have a security about, uh, about, about, about land in Burundi, because if you, sec you have security in Burundi about proper right, you can get, can get more investment. This investment can also reduce uh, the poverty in Burundi because we have more people who want to be there. Thank you.